Evening all. Tonight we're going to be painting these ethereal green flames using Pro Acryl paints by Monument Hobbies, as well as a couple of other materials. Let's get going. The Pro Acryl line has a bright pale green that would be ideal for this, but I don't have it on hand, so we're going to be mixing some bold titanium white with some Soylent Green. I love how they make the Soylent tiny so you don't realize what you're using. An important key to this process is to make the base coat quite a light color, so we're going to be using about a 3 to 1 ratio of white to green. I think I'm actually going to add a little more white to that. One more drop, 4 to 1 ratio. Yeah, good enough. Just an approximation. Ah, nice minty pastel green. Next up, we're going to be diluting some bold titanium white with contrast medium so that we can create a wash that will sink into the recesses. Once that coat dries, I'm going to apply a second. Now I'm going to go back with some of the green we used for our base coat, and I'm going to start to pick out some of the raised portions of the flames. Next up, we're going to start to gradually darken the flames using a 3 to 1 ratio, then a 2 to 1, and then a 1 to 1 of our green and white. Be sure to go slowly in this process and use thin coats. Gradually build up those transitions of darker color. Now we're just going to use Soylent Green on its own to continue darkening the tips of the flames as well as the teeth.
now we're going to continue to darken the tips of the flames as well as the teeth with some jade. Next up, we're going to be darkening the teeth by just adding some dots of coal black. There we go. Now we're going to do his base. Next up, we're going to be using AK Dark and Dry Crackle Effects. But first, we're going to be applying a layer of PVA glue to the base, as this will help the crackle effect have wider cracks when it dries. And there we go, our fully painted ethereal green flames. One thing that's important in achieving this effect is to start off with a base coat that's a very light shade of the color you're working with. Here's another mini where I did the exact same process, but I started off with a base coat of a darker shade of green, basically a two to one ratio of that Soylent Green and White. Notice how the white does not transition into the green as smoothly as it does with the mini we just painted. Pro Curl Paints. Get them now at BC Hobbies.